Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another top 10 video, which I am bringing back to. Um, um, uh. Hey guys, and welcome back to another top 10 video, and the series which I'm bringing back after all these weeks we didn't have an episode. So, therefore, I'm more than proud to bring it back to you guys. So, before we start with number 10, I'm going to have to remind you that all Pokemon I will list are only based on my personal taste and favorism. Additionally, I will also allow dual typings as well, so a Psychic Dark type will also be allowed to be on this list. I'd also love to your I'd also love to hear your opinion, so why not leave your own top 10 list in the comment section below? So let's go on with number 10. To start off my list, I'll begin with a Pokemon that was important to me. The first memory of me moving from my old home, Scotland, to my new Germany, and finally arriving was actually defeating the champion in Pokemon Emerald, with the help of Rory and Waitina. <laughs> if I was ever scared of a Pokemon, I rolled like there was no tomorrow. Maybe the evolution of one of the most common Pokemon in the third gen, but hell, I loved it a lot. It's just personal experience, and that is why Mytina takes place number 10. At number 9, I have the 6th generation Pokemon, Malamar. Malamar is quite the weird Pokemon, to be honest. It's just an MK upside down. And when I read in the Korokoro Koro magazine subtitles, you could say, <laughs> I laughed. Because it was the actual way to evolve MK into Malamar. Turning your 3DS upside down. Wow, it's just... The creativity flows in the genes of Game Freak. So that's why, because of this very funny evolution, Malamar takes place number 9. At number 8, I have Houndsdoom, Dark and Fire type God. When I say God, it's kind of exaggerated, but hear me out. Houndoom is badass. Now, I'm not talking about the power of badass, because it's not the most powerful Pokemon, if you do not consider its Mega Evolution, but it is just badass. It's one of the best third generation Pokemon in my mind, and it would definitely have a top 5 place on that list if I were to do one as well. It's just its badass image, its badass aura that it gives to the player whilst using it in battle, and that awesome, really awesome. Mega Evolution introduced in Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. This is why Houndoom takes the 8th place in my list. I wanted to start off this top 10 series again with something special, Dark Types. I like Dark Types, but one of my favourite types as well are Dragon Types. So, which Pokemon actually has both? <laughs> Hydreigon. One of the most boss-like and overpowered Pokemon that were introduced in the 5th generation. It's not my favourite 5th generation Dark Type Pokemon, but hell, it's bad ass. Just look at that head. The power is unbelievable. Hell, I did a solo run with my level 82 Hydreigon and just smashed the Pokemon League to bits. The Elite Four didn't stand a chance because Hydreigon is such an OP beast. Crocodile takes spot number six. Fifth generation did bring quite a lot of cool Pokemon and Crocodile is one of those cool Pokemon arsenal. Now the thing is, Crocodile could have been a lot higher on this list, but the thing is, its stats are just terrible. It's really strange that it kicked ass in the anime, but did not in the game. It's kind of sad to be honest, but that does not stop me from liking this Pokemon at all. Let's give him some love, eh? So coming back to the third generation, Absol actually takes spot number 5 on my top 10 list. Why do I love Absol so much? It is an amazing Pokemon. Not only is its Mega Evolution really awesome, but Absol itself is pretty damn cool. As soon as I saw Absol, I felt in love. There's some weird aura around Absol. It's just amazing Pokemon, it's the disaster Pokemon. And maybe if I'll do a Pokemon Facts anytime soon, I'll probably implement it in the first episode. Wink, wink. 
Spot number four on my list is a ghost and dark type Pokemon. The specific Pokemon I am talking about is Spirit Team. Yes, Spirit Team. I know some of you will be like, what? What the hell? That's alright. I know, like I said, it's a personal list. And Spirit Team takes this place because as soon as I saw it in the fourth generation playing Pokemon Diamond, I fell in love so fast, it didn't even take a split second. And when I learned I couldn't catch it in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I was very sad. Hell, I was just so depressed, I actually got myself an action replay and caught Cynthia's spirit team. <laughs> yeah. First world problems. Oh god. When the second generation rolled up, I was quite happy about the new implemented dark type and the day and night features. So what did Mr. Axoriax do at night? That's correct. Leveling up his EV to make it into an Umbreon. Umbreon takes spot number three on this list because it is just badass. I liked Espeon but it wasn't just badass. Usually we want to check out the new types and that's what I did but I didn't just want to check them out, I actually wanted to feel how it would be like possessing a dark type Pokemon and I actually felt kind of badass with Umbreon. I mean just look at Umbreon, those golden rings look pretty awesome, the design is great, I love its speed stats, it's a great Pokemon, I can recommend it to anybody who's playing the game. You can also leave your favourite evolution in the comment section below, mine is Umbreon, what's yours? Let me know. If I hadn't implemented legendaries into this list, I would have a complete different order. But because I thought, wow, this Pokemon is so amazing, I just have to put it into my list. The thing is, this Pokemon isn't just a legendary, it might be my favourite legendary out of them all. The Pokemon I'm talking about is Darkrai. Wow. This is the first Pokemon I got through an event, and it was pretty cool. I loved it so much. I actually wanted to have a shiny Darkrai. I tried to organize stuff online because I loved the shiny design. I wanted to have a Darkrai so bad, a shiny Darkrai so bad. But sadly, I couldn't do that. Darkrai is pretty awesome. I watched the movie as well. The movie with Darkrai isn't that great. I mean, I'll give it a 7 out of 10, but Darkrai is pretty awesome. The way it plays in the movie really mirrored my expectations of what Darkrai would be a very cool but caring Pokemon in some ways and some ways not so much. If you are trying to do a competitive battle Pokemon team with legendaries, I would definitely recommend Darkrai. Use rest and eat away their dreams. So much for the American dream. <laughs> the Pokemon that takes place number one on my list is an amazing Pokemon. Hell, it's my second favorite Pokemon in general. The Pokemon I'm talking about is Tyranitar, and Tyranitar is a Bouse. Its Mega Evolution looks pretty goddamn awesome. I really wanted it, so I traded actually a shiny for a perfect IV tri Tyranitar with a perfect nature, and I was just really happy. I didn't think I'd get in shiny, but I didn't care. Tyranitar all the way with its mega evolution, I just loved it to bits. Tyranitar was really close to inspiring my Pokemon name, Poketuber name to be exact. It was so close, I just loved how they describe Tyranitar in its Pokedex entry, making it quite the bitch towards geologists. I mean, honestly, all these map drawers like, ah, guys, you know, Tyranitar, you know, he's he was on a rampage again. Uh, you know, that one mountain, yeah. It's gone. It's gone. I mean, it's annoying, right? Tyranitar is just, oh, I've got a bad day. Let me just destroy this mountain right over here. I mean, it's just a bitch to watch geologists, and it's just great. I just love the Pokemon the design. I craved it so much in the sixth generation to have it and have the Mega Evolution. 
that's how much I wanted it. So, that was my top 10 list on Dark Type Pokemon. Please feel free to leave your own top 10 list in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please leave a like and check out my playlist with more top 10 videos. I hope I'll see you next time and goodbye.